Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Friday night. We'll call this the weekend. Welcome to the weekend and welcome to colder temperatures. Um, well, we talked about it a lot this week, so I know it wasn't a surprise to you, but boy, it got cold out there. Leftover rain showers, not much. There's some out there again to the east of Martin County to the east of Green County. So from Bloomington down to Bedford down to about French Lick, we've got some scattered rain showers that way, but even there. It, there's not much. There really isn't. Clouds are even moving out in the sunshine. We're able to see some sun before this day is over. Look at the temperatures, though. Even with sun, it's yeah, still cold. If you've got plans tonight, wrap up. Take a couple jackets. Don't forget the hat either. It is going to be chilly. We're in the 40s now. We are going to be on our way down into the 30s this evening. But look at these numbers. You say, well, what's a negative 28? Over the past 24 hours, the temperature has changed for the negative of 28 degrees, meaning it's almost 30 degrees colder right now than it was yesterday at this time. And the worst part was we saw it coming. Last night we were talking at 10 and 11 o'clock here. We were in the studio talking about this. It was 77 in Terre Haute, but in Effingham it was 54. And we went outside. Okay, still feels good. Go back outside. Uh-oh, winds have changed. It got colder and it did so in a hurry. But here's what else I'm looking at. Do we have any more drastic changes? Okay, it's going to be colder tonight in the 30s, but you look at Moline and Kirksville and Kansas City. Well, those temperatures, they're not super cold, so we don't have any more, any more reinforced cold air coming in. So we've kind of leveled off. We'll get our overnight lows in the 30s, so it will be chilly. But as far as, again, things getting worse, it just really doesn't look to be that way. And I don't want to call this worse either. It's fall. It's, it's almost November. It's supposed to do this outside. There go your clouds and rain showers. We've got a little bit of a break. We'll get some sunshine here in most areas right now. But again, this is, this is a good thing. It's what it's supposed to be doing outside. So lower 30s in the morning. That's definitely a cold start. Winds stay out of the north. Rain moves to the east. Skies clear for tomorrow. We'll have a few clouds, but overall, a nice day. A nice fall weekend to get out and do some chores. Just dress for it. Lower 50s, the best we'll do tomorrow, and then back down into the 30s. As far as frost is concerned, our winds are going to be a little bit more active uh, where frost doesn't look to settle in, but it's definitely something that we've got to keep our eyes. Lower 30s, got to keep our eyes on that chance for some frost, but it looks like the winds will be a little too active to see that settle in. Cold for sure. 33 tonight. 53, mostly sunny, breezy and cool tomorrow. We'll do 32, partly cloudy and still cold for tomorrow night. And there's your seven day forecast. A couple clouds on Sunday, that's really about it. And again, overall, the average high should be in the 60s. Uh, we don't get there. We'll do 52 Sunday, 49 for Monday, Tuesday, 50 for Wednesday. So overall, Mark, we have changed gears big time as far as temperatures are concerned from upper 70s yesterday to barely in the 40s uh, coming up on Monday, Tuesday. In the meantime,